What's up, everybody? We're playing Hollow Knight. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, move around like that. Fair enough. We're gonna. It's gonna take us a little to get adjusted to the controls. Um, I heard there is a little bit of a of a, a difficulty curve to this game slightly. Um, I really, like I said, don't. I don't know much about this game, but I've really wanted to play it for a long time. It's a um, Metroidvania type. Oh, it's called Hollow Knight. I don't know if I said that or not yet. Um, but yeah, this this kind of game is just right up my alley, and, and I've been wanting to play this for, for a really long time. Uh, it came out on one of the Steam sales, and I've just been thinking about this game for so long. I've heard a lot about it. Uh, just Well, not actually what the game actually is, just kind of the art style and just how good the game actually is. So, like I said, let's get into it. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks... You among us, focus your soul, and you shall see, achieve feats of which others can only dream. Okay, so we collect people's souls. So, we're playing Dark Souls. Uh, <laughs> is that overdone yet? I don't know. Um, oh, hey, oh, no. What's up? No. Okay, here we go. What's this way? Um... So, so far, I'm pretty intrigued. Let me see what some of the controls are here, just like a little bit. Oh, oh no, there is no pause menu. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, no pause menu there. I didn't realize that. Now, can I, supposedly I can use this and I can heal myself up. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's do it again. Boom. Now we got full health again. So you gotta, you collect the souls and they help you re replenish your life, looks like. Oh, you know what else is actually really cool already? I can tell. The, the controls in this are really tight, but uh, when I hit off a wall, it actually re rebounds me a little bit. Like, I kind of go flying backwards slightly. Um, that might come in handy to know that. Um, let's just kind of see. Let's... Oh. That was a... That was a horrible trap right there. Really unfair. Um... Okay, so it looks like this is the way. There is no... One thing I do know about this game, and one of the things that I did here... Oh, it killed his own guy. Nice. Um, or it killed that guy, I should say. One of the things that I did end up reading about this game or hearing about this game was the, the map... The way the map works is that you kind of get these upgrades for it. Um, so you have to find the guy to give you just the original, like, piece of paper that, like, the map would be written on, and then you buy an upgrade to figure out a certain area. So, until then, you're kind of left to your own devices, uh, in terms of finding your way, which, to me, it really appeals to me, guys. I, I like that idea of exploring, uh, kind of through and having to remember a little bit where you've been. Um, it looks like kind of in the beginning here, it's, it's pretty much a quarter. Oh, there we go. All right, wow. Looks like, can I get back up? I cannot get back up. But no problem. Okay, spikies are below us. Now, I wonder how many of these... Okay, I can see them up there. Very good. That'll be good to know. Okay, so let's see if we can tr trick these. All right, take that one, too. Let's just go across. Boom. Wait, was there something down there? Yeah, there is something down here. Let's just spikes after this. So I wonder if later, maybe I'll get some kind of, like, long jump ability, and I'll be able to take go across there. Um... So I guess in the meantime, too, uh, if, if you've never played a Metroidvania, um, they're very much, areas are kind of locked off to you, and you obtain usually certain abilities, sometimes it's keys, whatever, but usually you, you, you gain abilities as the game goes on, and then you're able to access areas that you weren't able to get to before. Um, higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the Eternal Kingdom. Hollonist. Hollonist. Okay. <laughs> cool, man. Let's make sure we obey the law. Does this game have music? I'm sure it probably does at some point. This might just be setting the tone a little bit. Um, oh, so here's like a balcony. I guess we're going to go for the plunge. Boom. Look at that. Bouncing off the walls. Boom. You can't wall jump, can you? No, you can't. But I, I'll bet you that's... In a lot of these games, that's like an ability you can get. But, uh... We'll, we'll find out, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, this looks really good. I, I'm gonna get right into this, I think. Dirtmouth. The Fading Town. Okay. So maybe this is gonna be like our hub. But maybe not. Oh. What's the matter, guy? Yo, Lono, to go with. 
Oh no, our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Oh. Wow. I mean, I guess if it's a, like a nightmare. Oh, so rest. So I wonder, is this how we save? Okay, so maybe that's just like a checkpoint? I'm going to guess that might just be like a little checkpoint right there. Um, ooh, what's this place? Okay. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Okay. Iselda and Cornifer are going to be our map uh, vendors, our map dudes, it looks like. Um, oh, what's, oh, that's the well. <laughs> I was going to keep going. I don't know if I could keep going right or not, but I can climb back up anyway, can't I? Oh, no, I can't. There's like a chain there, though. Okay, we're at the Forgotten Crossroads. Let's remember, this is this is where we started. Oh, I can ascend. Okay. We'll, we'll check out the other part of it. I think we were meant to fall down the well right there. Um, all right. Let's get underway. So, and again, in terms of story, I mean, um, if you watch the intro video, that'll be at the beginning of this video, I don't know really what the story is. We kind of just showed up here, and we are the Hollow Knight. Um, and what we are, I guess maybe we'll find out what we are and what, what this whole world is all about. Um, oh, what are these guys all about? Let's get out of here. These beetles. Oh, man, let's just collect souls all day long, though, because, yeah, it looks like that's going to help us out. Because, like I said, I think this game is kind of unforgiving. I mean, they have a lot of checkpoints, but um, in terms of the actual combat itself, I hear that it's pretty combat-centric. For and, and these games can be like that, but um, another one of my favorite favorite castle or metroidvania games is uh, Ori in the Blind Forest, um, which certain parts of this actually do kind of remind me of that, just this kind of interesting dark art style with the, with the bright light kind of con contrasting the dark. Ooh, I just took a hit. Um, and, and games like that, you know, the combat system that is okay. I think as you level up your guy, you get more, but this seems to be a little bit more uh, combat heavy. Okay, so we came from the platform up top. I'm going to see what's down on this one and hopefully remember where we're going, guys. We might be doing some backtracking uh, at the beginning here until we at least get a map for this area because we are kind of just at the at the whim of the, of, you know, where, where we are, we have no idea. And what we're doing here, we really don't know either. Uh oh, I don't like these guys. Okay, yeah. Oh, man, these beetles too. Oh, my God. Well, you take hits and it's like the sound cuts out and like it looks like the... Like there's glass breaking on screen. It's pretty intense. Get out of here, bud. What's uh? This is what I wanted. I wanted these souls. This little like soul pit. All right, is it souls? I don't know what it is. I just call it souls because freaking dark souls. Um. Oh god, I'm really sucking. Okay, so now I gotta refill my health a bit. So B refills my health. It looks like it takes a couple of seconds. So it's not like something you can do if you're in like serious danger. You might have to like find a spot you can like retreat to to, to do it. Um, oh wait, what's up there? There's like a little, <laughs> there's like a caterpillar, dude. I don't think we can get to him yet, though. All right, we have to come back for the caterpillar, boy. Um, damn, this is really cool, guys. Uh, it's there's a it's a certain like style of animation that um, reminds me of something. It's very original in what, what it actually is, but it reminds me of something and I can't quite place it. Um, maybe you guys in the comments. Maybe if you were, if you, if this reminds you of some sort of other animated, uh, feature or an animated show or I, I don't even know what it is, but I, I feel like this animation is kind of familiar, but also very unique to, to this style of game and just games in general, really, I would say. Um, okay, cool. Whoa. Yeah. Get out, you're done. Um, oh my god, okay. That's it. <laughs> he threw us into the spikes, you guys. Oh man, first death. Should we put a death counter up? <laughs> I don't know, maybe we will. We're back in town. Maybe, can I get my map yet? No, I'll bet you I have to get some sort of thing down there to get my mapping supplies. So let's see what's on the other side of this. 
Maybe there was something over here that was a little bit better for us. But then again, maybe not. But here's some sort of locked door. So, a stone door with a simple lock. Okay, so we're going to need to pick up something from these caverns. Um, I imagine that key to get into the next area. Possibly. So here's the well. Let's go back in. Um, we're going to take a different path this time. I kind of know what's over that direction, and we'll go back there at some point. But for now, let's take another direction and see what's on the other side, because we didn't fare too well down there. You actually can die really fast if you're not careful. And you have to start, like, way back. That's going <laughs> to be a bit of a disaster, if you guys know um, about me and, and just how, how um, developers cheat games to like make it so I can't you know even though I am pro okay oh oh no caterpillar papa is like crying because all of his it looks like maybe all of the caterpillars are gone okay that's <laughs> that's so sad right there oh my god <laughs> oh it's terrible let's find out what that's all about oh so this I guess we're gonna come back and maybe talk to that guy or something this is just letting us know that all the caterpillars are have been taken from their homes by like beetles or like these uh, Jack Ske Skellingtons. Um, oh no, I ran, jumped right in. I was stupid, guys. I'll I'll fess up to that. Can I get my souls back? Is it like actual Dark Souls where I can like get get all the um, whatever that that stuff that drops? The guts that drop out from those beetles. Let's get him. Okay, let's go back into that area. Let's see what that... Because I feel like that was probably the way... Oh, shniblets. Okay. I definitely overshot it by uh, a couple hundred platforms, it looks like. Okay, let's just get there. <laughs> they push you back a little bit. You, you do have to kind of watch out when you're on edges, because if you like swing and you hit something, it might shove you into the pit. Is this the way we went? I think this is, yeah, this looks like the one, I think. I hope we can get our stuff back, because um, I don't know what else we need this uh, resource for, if it's just for filling up our health, or if that's like all of the, you know, mana you get, or I have no idea. So hopefully we'll find out here. Oh, get out. Get out, get. Okay, good. This guy, like, charges you. And he throws fire around or something? Oh, see, there's the caterpillar baby. He needs to get returned to, to Papa, I think. Um, okay, let's keep going on. I think we died. We died by the spike pits, if I remember right. We died in the actual spike pits, guys. Oh, no. These guys suck, the little jumpy boys. Okay, so I'm starting to learn these enemies a little bit now. Getting a little comfortable with what, what we've been presented with. Um, alright, nice, let's get it all, I don't know if there's anything in this, like, tall grass, I just like killing it, okay, done, done, son, okay, this is where we died, so we do not get our stuff back, it doesn't look like, oh, oh, he drops a bunch of them, though, oh, no, yeah, that's me, right there, I guess maybe I do, it would be really cool if we did, guys, I'm not gonna jump in the pits to get him, though. Oh, oh, do I have, to, I have to fight my own dude? Oh, yeah, he, he like, attacks you. You're, like, former... So That's what did me last time, and I didn't learn. Um, <laughs> God, some of those are, like, hidden behind the, like, the foreground of the cave ceiling there. Um, okay, so here's a part we can go down further. Ooh, I have no idea. Uh, let's, no, no, no. Get out of here. Get out. Okay. Done, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, pretty awesome. Um, I'm gonna go down that like section that was in that last area, but not just yet. I just want to look around a little bit more. Um, I wonder if this loops back around. Man, the sooner we can find that map. <laughs> Okay, let's not get too complicated in our path, but I wonder if this does loop back to the to the entrance of the uh, of the well. I'll bet it does. That's gonna be my guess. I hope it does, kind of, because then it 
it'll be a little more logical for me to understand. Oh! 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 Okay. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Get. Done. Okay, what's... Where are we going? I've, like, actually already gotten lost, guys. Um, my sense of direction here, I really... Oh, what's this? Okay, let's go in here. Let's see what it's all about. Oh. Temple of the Black Egg. Is this boss... Boss Boys? Oh, no, let's listen to his story. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. So do I, man. Uh, this ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. Oh. Man. That is interesting and stuff, but do you have, like, a map? I mean, I know that you go to, like, uncharted places, but, like, maybe... Maybe you got a little something for, uh... For old Chirpy Magoo. Oh, this isn't an exit. This is just, like, the... The rounded off wall of the uh, of the temple, or whatever they call it, the garden. Um, okay, I guess we're gonna keep going this way and just seeing. I, I'm again hoping that we kind of get hooked back up here, so I have a sense of where I've been. But so far, it looks like to no avail, guys. I'm asking for way too much. I'm like really just going deeper in, and that's fine actually. That's what this game is all about. It's just like get kind of lost in it. We're gonna be doing some backtracking in this. Okay, it did take us right back. Very good. That is just fine by me. We can go back the way we are coming, and I can kind of just know that I've been around that loop. And there was nothing to help us just right in the beginning, anyhow. Um, let's keep going a little bit. I'd like to at least uh, find something. Like, either a checkpoint. Well, not even really a checkpoint. I'd like to find the map. That's really what would be the bee's knees, right? Um, okay. Oh, okay, what's over here? This way we did not go. So we came from the bottom there. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Uh, and, um, oh. No, 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 no. Okay, what's up? Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh! Get done! How much life? You gotta be almost dead. No, no! Oh, I've taken a bit of a hit. Okay, the bosses can't, cannot heal while there's bosses going on. I'm getting my ass handed to me, guys. Oh, my God. Um. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we're back. We're back in Dirtmouth. Okay, you know what? That, that is a checkpoint. As far as I'm concerned, I count that as a checkpoint. Um. Wow, you guys. I think this series is pretty good. You guys let me know what you think about it. Um, I think I'm going to play it for a little while and just see see how we do with it and see if uh, it's intriguing enough for me to continue. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.